just finished the first video, which I'm gonna upload today. Um, and now I'm gonna film a room tour because I love my room so much. Um, and I'm a firm believer, I'm gonna keep this up here, that like the place, not a firm believer, I think, but the place that you have like, you spend the most at is the place that's like the most reflective of you. If that makes sense, like I spend a lot of time in my room. So my room reflects me really well. If you spend a lot of time on like, this is not reflect, this is, okay, this is the only example I can think of. But I spend a lot of time in my room, so I put a lot of effort into making my space me. Anyway, so this is also like, I'm like this room is like a time capsule of who I am right now. And I wanna be able to explain to myself in the future, here's who I am. Oh, okay. That isn't as dramatic as I thought it would be. Not that I wanted it to be dramatic. I just thought it was gonna fall, but it didn't. Okay, so, room tour. I wanted to do this all in one take, but I gotta turn around the camera. So I can't do it all in one take. Oh, do you wanna leave? That's my cat. Oh, well, he went to my closet. Okay. Did he? Where'd he go? No, he just left. He didn't go into my closet. Um, a couple of things are like, turned around because it says like identifying information about who I am and where I live and stuff like that and I don't want you saying that um oh he's back anyway also my room is kind of messy deal with it uh I'll turn it around like this so I can like see myself in the mirror right here like what I'm recording but I can also like the ca this camera slipped to be fed but it is not time what time is it it's 4 40. it's too early for him to be fed okay anyway back to the room tour first i'm gonna do like a i think general generalizations i don't want to get in depth it's only been 32 seconds wow okay um this is my disc dresser dude Okay, he's gonna make it sound like we don't feed him at all. He can spend plenty. So chillax. Chillax. Take a couple deep breaths. And chillax. Bed. Books. Okay. I'm gonna turn on this lamp because there isn't a lot of light in this room. Which I like, but um, it isn't the best, I guess, for video taking. Okay. So. Here's my door. It's painted white because over COVID, my mom went on this whole like, I'm gonna redecorate everything. And not, not redecorate, like refurnish to all this house thing that she wanted to like do, but she never had time to. So she repainted like several things in the house. And in that mess, I was like, hey, can I uh, repaint my room? She was like, yeah. Um, and that, for some reason, she also like, hey, we should paint all the wood stuff in your room white. I was like, what? And then she's already painting it. So I was like, okay. Um, so that door is white, that's white. That's what. I think those are all the stuff she painted. Okay, couple of bags. My rain jacket. Bag, 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 bag. This is part of my outfit for, well, I wore it to a couple of weddings and for Eve, but I also want to wear it for inductions for my theater drama club. Um, hopefully I'll get inducted. No, I've, I've already been inducted. I was inducted last year. I hope I get the officer position I want. Um, okay, that. I saw it on Pinterest, a wall thing, and it seemed like a great idea to me two years ago. I did a horrible job of painting this. I did it like all on these three walls. Then I was like, oh my god, doing this drip thing in gray was a horrible idea. Let's see how much damage quality control I can do. So I thought that's what's up with that. Here's a painting. It was 80s day at my high school. So my dad, I was like, I was talking to my dad about it. He was like, what do I wear? Because he grew up in like the 80s. Did he? Kind of, yeah. And he wore, he like saw a lot of AEC TV shows and stuff. So he was like, you should wear a, like a necklace that says, has this on it. And he drew that for me. So shout out to him. These are some model prints from my drawing three class. I was going for like a flower and a whole thing here. That one failed. That's a guy. That's a light switch that I painted. A couple of times. That's been repainted a couple of times. Okay. Bags. I was debating, like, do I donate this? Or do I keep it? So I decided I'm going to keep it for now. Um, true. This is a little countdown calendar I've made. 
um, for the last day of school. So I've been taking one down every day, and it, May 12th has already passed, so that should go in the garbage. Um, here's my bookshelf. Oh, and if you wanted to, you probably didn't think about this, but, well, I'm, this is for myself, so did I think about that? Anyway, um, the color of my entire room was before, um, I painted it this, like, mint color, was this. It was this, like, painful aqua 2012, like, aqua, like, 2015 aqua. Anyway, I print, I was at the, um, a hotel one time and I found out guys at hotels you can print whatever you want for free I think so I printed up the entire community Wikipedia page and some of it is on my wall that my sister drew that is a sign kind of that me and my friend found out in the woods behind my other friend's house my other friend doesn't live at that house anymore but we were just back there anyway they're building those two apartment condos now and there's this whole thing about like gentrification, not gentrification, but opposite gentrification. Basically, they wanted to build like low cost housing there, back where those woods are, and all these like the kind of that there are a lot of rich people in my neighborhood, but like the wealthier people in my neighborhood were like, hold up, we don't want low income housing because we hate poor people, and that was kind of what's going on back there. So, uh, believe that. I don't want to curse on here because then I have to like, go back and edit it, and that's a pain. Vines. It was like again, but like 2020 style vines. Go there. Give some atmosphere, I guess. We got my bookshelf. We got books that are too big to go anywhere else. We got an old Harry Potter set, which I haven't read Harry Potter forever and believe J.K. Rowling, but I have them. They were good books. I read all of them in one day, one time. I got really into Harry Potter in like fourth grade. Got the religion section. No. Well, religion section and then like YA sort of. This I read for school. And then I, okay, it's kind of fun actually. The book The Hate You Give. I read it the first time in 2019. Oh crap, that's my last name. Oh, I have to edit this now. Well, actually, I might like. I'm at, like, my Instagram here, so that's my last name, I guess. Um, when I first heard it, and then when I'm reading it now. Okay, um, let me put that right here. Oh, this is because I tried to, like, draw on the cover, and I really, really messed it up, and it looks really bad. Um, it doesn't look organic at all, so I just, whenever I was reading this in class, I always just, like, try not to let that part show. But there's that now on the internet. Um, we get my library book section. They're all this way because I was like, what if it shows the barcode of my library? Um, so we got those, my library books. Comic books. Um, this is all like my older, either older books, like Hemingway, um, there's some F. Scott Fitzgerald. Like those like, not the generation, but like 1950s books, like classics. George Orwell, To Kill a Mockingbird, Little Women, which I love. Um, kind of like those sorts of books like the classics i guess which national geographics a mad magazine that i got at like a book a lot you don't know, like libraries do those sales you know there's like take our old books because no one wants them yeah and you buy them um then here you got poetry the actual religion section well that's not even religion what was, what was i saying that's like the ya section this is the poetry and religion section. This book didn't fit anywhere else, I don't think. And then you have the books that like, didn't fit in. Oh, crap, that's falling. My grandma gave me these. Let me give them a little read here. Informal. Comedy doesn't fit anywhere else. And then just these books that didn't really have a section anywhere else. Anywhere else. Um, here you got this poster. You have a wave. Get these little guys on it. Uh, Kate Bush. Chattish Gambino. My sister drew that. There's a story behind this. More Wikipedia pages. I think these are from Glee. You know, these are more community Wikipedia pages. I love community and I could spend days talking. Oh my god. Okay, I want us to talk about community now. But I'm not going to. I will refrain myself. More art stuff. Little Van Gogh. No, actually, I painted. No, I didn't. Um, some wall stuff. Kendrick Lamar. Community. 
I, I love the community so much. Okay, um, wall stuff. Miles Morales, I am so pumped for the next Into the Spider-Verse. It is like two weeks and I'm so, no, yeah, about two weeks. I'm so excited. Um, I gotta get tickets for that soon. I don't know if they're gonna sell it soon. Anyway, posters, old art stuff, community, Marvel, Jadish, community. I got these um, records to put up a while ago. I don't know if I wanna keep them up, but this one like holds up my lights, so. Um, Marvel, I got this on, okay. From U Chicago, because they keep on like, I'm on college board and stuff. So they started sending like spam emails, like go to our college. It's a Christian trade school from the middle of nowhere. There's literally no way you go there, but we're gonna send you an email and stuff. I, I could, I'm, I want, I'm, I'm refraining from going off to tangents. Um, anyway, they sent me this big old like pack in the mail, which is fun to like get mail in your name now, but it's annoying when it's all from colleges. Um, cause you know, college industrial complex, there's problems there. And I hate the college is like a business and they're trying to sell you the, oh my God, my cat's there. I didn't even see you there, Rumi. Okay. I hate the college industrial complex. Like college is trying like, it's a business and that sucks. Cause I just want to learn. Um, but anyway, they're like packet opened up to a big poster that said you chicago right here and oh i can start talking about my dad okay oh i don't ah not going to get into that this is a room tour well also this is for future me so like she's gonna want to hear this stuff okay um anyway my dad is very like against i remember a couple years ago he's really against like branding like my brother had this nike shirt and he's like you weren't a billboard for nike i didn't like that shirt because he was like oh like you shouldn't be you shouldn't advertise for other people. It was pretty against anti-brands. And I kind of agree with that sentiment. So I was like, I'm not going to advertise you, Chicago. So I cut off the you, Chicago part right here. Now I have this. Okay. I'm going to go back a bit. It's more fun. Okay. I have to make sure I don't like, hit my mouth hand, though. Um, for my brother's Lego magazine subscription. Um, made that art club, which I'm the co-president of. Not to brag. Um, based off the song Imagination by Forest the People. I have no clue what the band is. Cage the Elephant. It was like one of those, like, Cage the Elephant, Bin the Tiger. Like, it was like something the blank. I don't know. Um, bedroom rules, I guess. Um, some printouts, The Weeknd, Childish Gambino. There's a pattern. Little Women, the movie, which I love. Okay, I love that, that adaptation. I have this whole section out. Okay, starting again from my 2023 goals. I'm just going to read them out because one of them has my high school on them. And I just said it, and I have to, like, undo that now. Um, do this art thing. This other art thing. Um, fill full plus sketchbooks. Figure out what I'm going to do for college. Make one new friend. Watch a community movie five times. Get an officer position in theater, which just mentioned over there. Um, join the National Honor Society and the National Art Honor Society. Read five books, books. Watch all the movies on my letterbox watch list because it is so long. Oh, this is five. I watched Fight Club, which I did. Fight Club was really good. <laughs> Make a short film pro Finish a short film project I was working on, which I did. I just edited it. I've been putting it off for a while. Work on another film project. Finish my sophomore year with a 3.8 GPA at least, which you can do in line for. I didn't get a four or higher on the A question be test, which I hope I did. I studied my butt off for that. Yeah. Um, I just to do that. This is my art final. My drawing class, drawing three. Um, more art stuff. The Umbrella Academy. Um, did this a while ago. Self-explanatory Loki. Um, art thing. Oh, I'm so close to being, being kicked by my friend. Okay. Um, Join my high school art club. Painting. More. Just wall stuff. Also for my brother's Lego magazine subscription. Cetus, who um, he was this monster that I chose for my art, uh, my painting two glasses like sculpture thing that we were doing. Um, and I was like, oh, this is a cool one. I got first, so I did. Um, the Umbrella Academy, Kate Bush. More paintings and art class stuff and prints and I'm not gonna because there is all this stuff at my high school. 
Uh, all the theater shows we've done, but I've been in. And I'm not about to show you that. Because that says where I go to high school. Okay. Some photos are like little me. Oh, here's my dresser. Oh, here's my CD player. What's in here right now? Duran Duran's Future Past, which I got from the library. So, this is not a endorsement of Duran Duran because I just picked up their CD, so I don't even know if it's good or not. Um, anyway, I'm back. That, okay, fun fact. Of this 14 minutes, that's not too bad. Um, look at my alarm clock that is so unreliable. Sophie B. Hawkins, because I love community. Um, fun fact this bed, this dresser, now the side table, and this dresser were all my mom's when she was in high school, and it was like my grandparents for a bunch of years. And then, like, a year ago or something, my grandparents were like, We want a new bed. Sorry, which is full, but I deleted a couple of conversations, um, and like a lot of photos and stuff. So, we're good. Okay. Anyway, they were like, We need my whole goal of doing this on one take kind of got messed up but it's basically a one take because i didn't stop and delete everything i didn't want or like or okay anyway um they were like we want to get our new bed set and this bed set is too messed up like there's too many scruffs we like to justify selling it at a reasonable price but it's also too nice to get rid of so now i have it um also so the deal well this recliner my parents my grandparents wanted to get rid of and i was like i want it and they were like, you take it. And I love this recliner so much. I've always wanted it. So that's to kind of have in my house now. In my house? In my room. My bedroom. I do not own this house. Um, I have that's right behind these things. Um, more stuff on the wall. Hi. Okay. Um, Mitski. That is the, a little post, like a certificate. Because I was, I think, top of my class. This American Legion test. It was really funny because... I studied zilt, well, very little for that test. I completely forgot I was gonna take it. It was like an optional test you can take your high school. It was like, how American are you? Just kidding. It was like your your knowledge of like American government and stuff. Um. Anyway, so we got my dresser. So we got the crown, of course. Um, alligator pen. Toy car. My kindergarten graduation because I think that's my biggest accomplishment in life so far. Um, little photos of little me. Um, so much stuff. This is from my friend's birthday party. Turned 16. That's from a friend of mine. This is a gummel which I got at a thrift store. I put my rocks in it because I'm a girl who loves her rocks, you know? We got Lion King CD. Um, more rocks, but there's just a bunch of stuff on top of it that I don't want to deal with. So, well, I have this guy. I could always do with this guy. From, again, a friend of mine. Um, my kindergarten speaking, like I got like a speaking trophy, so like a speaking or a rhetorical, uh, or a work, or, or a speaking thing. Um, I got some incense, necklace stuff, incense, makeup, remember that my sister poured out half of for some reason. Um, dead flowers, never alive flowers. Diffuser. Yeah. Um. Okay. Here we got my necklaces and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. And then here, are like the theater posters. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start here. Then I'm gonna make my way up to like here. Um. We got a skateboard, which I need to like whip out again. Uh, I was really into. Like, I got. I can ride a skateboard great. That's about it. Ollie's? No. Anything else? Absolutely not. Hopefully my goal is to get more skateboarding again this, this summer. Um, I actually use it. Got my CDs. We got U2. I love MLK on here. Um, <laughs> Glee. Of course. More Glee. There's only three out here? Okay, I gotta like fix that. Um, everything ever all at once moment. A friend of mine made this. Beatles. U2. Out of music. This is from, these are all from like Goodwill and stuff. Okay, I need more YouTube. A lot of these are from like the really like not obscure but like kind of irrelevant ones I got from Goodwill because it was like a dollar. This one I have to pay goodbye for. BTI. Yeah. Okay, take this album. Put down. Which is like my favorite album ever. Um, Siri, if you want to get to know me as a person, listen to this album. Tracy Chapman, of course. 
um, Dave Matthews Band, which is community. Dogman the Musical, because I'm a nerd. Well, does loving Dogman make you a nerd? I don't think so. I think it just makes you lose it. Anyway, also, these, if you can tell, this is Mozart I got from Goodwill when I got my CD player. Because I was like, I want to get music for my CDs. And I just got whatever they had, which happened to be Dog Band the Musical. And Mozart. Okay. We got all these, like, again, that, like, 2020 minimalist room poster thing that I printed them all out. Um, so they're still up because they're nice. Um, little Marvel posters. Oh my god, you know it's different. Okay. Um, we got my mirror that is sitting on two, like, center blocks, I think, is what they are. Because if it was on the floor, I'd be, like, crouching down whenever I was trying to look at myself in there. Um, okay. Proud to be a union stapler. It used to say, like, proud to be a union, um, plasterer. And I was like, oh, because I got this at, like, the, like, okay. More paintings, movie posters, random stuff. All my sketchbooks and other stuff. Art. Just made that art. Uh, okay. I'm gonna sit down again. Well, no. I have more to talk about. Anyway, I got that and it said proud to be a union plasterer because I thought this at, like, the, those, um, what are you, like, technical school days where you go on, like, um, you get on a bus, you go to school, you get on a bus, and then you go to, like, a warehouse in the middle of nowhere, and they're like, here's how technical schools and stuff you can learn from them. And I thought it'd be funny, because one of them said, proud to be a union plaster, and I was like, that's kind of ironic, like, kind of funny, but, like, in a mean way. And I was like, that's not right to make fun of union plasters, because they work hard, and plastering is, like, a genuine, I felt bad about it. Morally, it wasn't right. So I was like, I still have this good sticker. So I made it say proud to be a union stapler because that's really funny, like genuinely funny, not like mean funny. Funny in air quotes because proud to be a union stapler tells me that you either, someone staples for a living, they like, so stapling has been considered a job. There's been enough people in this job to like make a living out of it and like make it a whole career field. And then on top of that, they, um, the, these staplers were being exploited by their like, bosses and their corporation that created a union which is funny because there's a whole union of staplers um <laughs> oh my god what if it's like a stapler being someone who staples but like literal staple staples like staplers you're staplers and the staplers are mad because the people who use them i don't know are nice i don't know um but then it's like so many of them have a union and the unit is so big that they can afford to make car decals. Like, that's hilarious to me. Um, anyway, I will probably do a sketch tour of, like, all these at some point. But they're all 17. 17. Um, okay. Here's alcohol markers. Here is my scale community diorama off the study room from community. Which, I'll go into depth now. Um, we got the blinds. We got the bookshelf, the other bookshelf, the TV. I need to make little like study group members. I just haven't had a chance to. We got a crappy looking, um, <laughs> this couch is the least well done thing. I have, I keep my fountain pen stuff in here. I don't really know why. Applause for all the little details. Um, got the chairs, got the dinosaur, because they were dinosaurs in the community, I think. Pierce, this is Pierce. One study group member, done. Okay. And then we got, we have a desk. From season one, there was, oh, actually the dinosaur should be, well, there's another dinosaur. He's like teaching Shirley how to um give good business presentations. And he had a little like thing like this, I think. Um, Some library cards. We got my paints. We got smock. Books. Art stuff. My desk is a mess, but I'm gonna try this over. But that's what's up. More art. We got, what else have I not? Okay, we got this rug, which I want to spray paint, but spray painting that like works with like fabric is expensive. I need a chance to get it. These are clothes I need to donate, not donate, like sell the plaintiff's closet. These are clothes that, well, not this bag or this bag. Not the stuff on the top, but the stuff underneath this. I need to sell, I'm going to give to Goodwill because Plato's Closet won't take it. 
because they all have paint stains. Um, this book was really good. Um, I need glasses. I could put them on, but then they like stick on top of my glasses because it wouldn't really work. Um, that's my backpack. This is a bag I got recently. My garage sale. Let's we'll go into that more. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, actually, let me just do it like this. That's it. Um, yay. Tell me. I gotta edit this a little bit, which sucks. That's why I never really got into. No, that isn't why I didn't. Never. Okay, I just don't like editing too much. Because it's annoying. And yeah. Peace out. I gotta grow really good. I could talk with that again for so long. Um, my art goals. Um. Oh no, my art goals. My art goals. My twenty twenty three goals. Like. Do. This art program, and fill up four plus sketchbooks, and figure out what I want to major in, and make one new friend, watch the community movie at least five times, get an officer position in theater, which I just referenced when I was standing over there. Um. That's my high school. I have to edit this out now. Okay.